Well, moving on now, family and friends of Adebayo Oluwake gathered to honor him as he retired from the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, in Nigeria. The event attracted professionals and government officials, among which were the special advisor on media and publicity to President Muhammad Buhari Femi Adishina, the managing director of Plus TV Africa, Liko Gumbao, his colleagues, among others. Our correspondent, Paul George, was there. Known faces from the media industry and in public service were seen in the hall. Other professionals, family and friends also graced the occasion. The event was in honor of one of Nigeria's diplomats and humanitarian, Mr. Adebayo Oluwake, as he announced his retirement with a book titled The Journey of a Passport on the Road of Humanity. Mr. Oluwake who has spent close to two decades of his career serving the country in different capacities talked about his sojourn. I am very, very proud to say by the time I was leaving, and again it's in my book, I left 13 Nigerians occupying important international positions with the International Committee of the World Cross. I thank God for the opportunity that he gave to me and for keeping me um, and hearty. The humanitarian, however, dismissed insinuations about him going into full-time politics. No, I think I'm more useful um, to, to my country and to the continent because I worked a lot across many African countries. I made a lot of friends uh, in government, in the military, in the diplomatic community, in those African countries. So I believe strongly that I have something to contribute uh, in helping to advance development on the continent. His better half of decades, Oluwatunyo Oluwake, shared her experience of how tough it was coping without her husband, who was always moving from one diplomatic duty to the other across the globe. Initially it was tough, because when the children were young, and I had to stay back to take care of the children. But the minute the youngest two, as the twins, got into university, I started traveling with him. I wish him the very best. I wish him renewed strength. He's been a very considerate man. He's a kind person. And I'm trusting that the Lord would um, enlarge his course. He sacrificed a lot for us, the children and I. And I'm praying that the Lord in his own way will reward him. Their daughters, Shion and Shola, took turns to play their roles at the book event. His areas of interest are development, public communication and humanitarian diplomacy, international humanitarian law, security architectures, and post-conflict reconstruction. He is married to Lua Twain, and they have left with three beautiful children. <laughs> Flexibility and impact and enabled us to actualize Jeremy's vision and our operations in a more clear and impactful way, building on the bold initiatives that Mary Went had taken. Unending encomiums were poured on Mr. Loake by his contemporaries who shared their experiences with the journalist come humanitarian. I'm glad to be a friend to Mr. Loake. This is not the first book that he will write that I'll read. He has sent me one before which I read and I look forward to reading this one. Um, all the support that he needs post-retirement. Bio. is everybody's bio. <laughs> this is a man who has used his God-given brain for this country. And he doesn't have a national award yet. And if there's any Nigeria to be proud of, his name is Bayolo. The high point of the event was the unveiling of the 158-paged book, Paul George, Plus TV News. Two and one. Thank you so much.